Aww, morning kisses. <laughs> Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sam, also known as Strength of Sam on Insta. And I'm glad you're here. Today is Wednesday, the... I don't even know what day it is. Today is Wednesday, May 11th. <laughs> I just checked. Okay. It's been a minute since I've been on the tube. I haven't filmed the YouTube video since like October of last year, December, something like that. It's been a really long time. Um, so today is just going to be kind of a day in the life. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to go to the gym. Uh, it's literally just going to be a day in my life. I'm going to talk to you guys about where the heck I've been, what I've been up to, what's changed, what's new. Um, and just kind of uh, go from there. I'm super excited to be filming today. I almost didn't film because it's already like 8.30, 8.45 in the day because I slept so late this morning. Um, my sleep has been absolute garbage. So I just allowed myself to sleep in today. And here we are at 8.30, I woke up and I was like, where am I? I have some coffee right now. And then I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna eat some breakfast, go from there. Normally I eat Kodiak cakes in the morning, but that's all we have left. Um, I would be able to eat some, but we also don't have any milk. When I tell you guys that our fridge is literally bare, let me just show you. Look at this. There's literally nothing in there. That's coffee. I have two meal prepped containers from a dinner I made last night. Random drinks, some eggs, no milk. I don't even know what are in those. We have all the condiments you could ever want in your entire life. The biggest thing of fucking creamer you could ever need, but no fucking food. So that's cool. The freezer is also like completely empty. It just has random shit in it. Isn't that right, bub? Right now. I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna try and figure out what the fuck I'm having for breakfast. We're off to a great start. Um, I just keep saying the F word and we don't know what we're having for breakfast. So this is a good time. anyone cares this is literally the best salsa in the entire world it's from Aldi I love it so much I don't even eat salsa on chips but I put salsa on other foods 10 out of 10 stars this is a small breakfast normally my breakfast would be like 800 calories if I was eating Kodiak cakes but I don't have Kodiak cakes I could have added some more egg whites and it would have helped me tremendously um, but I'll either probably drink a protein shake after I eat this or eat something else between now and lunch.
if you guys watched my old vlogs videos, you know that we used to live in an apartment complex. We lived there for a year right after we moved to Texas. In February, March-ish, we moved from the apartment into a house and we're renting a house. We don't own the home, um, but we are renting it. It is a four bed, two bath, two car garage home. Um, not far from where we were currently already living. Um, we used to live right down the road from the gym that we go to. So now we're about 15 to 20 minutes away, but it's still not bad. We're in a really nice neighborhood. We like the neighborhood a lot. We like the house a lot. Um, the only problems we've ran into are the bugs are really bad here. Like ants, roaches, stuff like that. Um, it's because of the kind of trees that we have in the yard. They attract and hold bugs really bad. So we do have to have um, somebody come and spray um, for pest, pest control comes and sprays um, every so often to keep the bugs out of the house. Um, they don't like bite you or anything like that. They're just in the house um, and that's disgusting. So anyway, I wanted to do a house tour for you guys because I haven't been on here in forever and um, I want you guys to see where I live. So let's freaking do this. Hey, so this is the entryway. Um, the street that we live off of is right in front of this door. There's a little walkway or whatever. This is just a closet. So entryway, my cute little rug that I bought at Marshall's that the cat continues to wad up when she gets excited and starts playing. Um, this is another hallway right here. This is a, another coat closet. Um, and then you go down the hallway. If you go right here, this is one of the bedrooms, but we... It's not really a bedroom right now. It's the cat room. Um, I have this thing on the door so that the dog cannot get in here. This is literally just the cat room. They have their cat tower, their litter boxes, their food, their water, all of that in here. So that's all that's in there. Then we have our office, which is currently a freaking disaster. Um, Tristan has his little setup over here, which looks super good. And then my setup is gonna be on the other side of this bookcase. We have one full bookcase and we had to go buy another bookcase because we have too many books. But um, this has just kind of been where everything is also getting thrown because I don't have a desk yet and half the stuff that's in here goes on my desk or needs to go on like a shelf or an organizer. We literally have the printer sitting on the floor. Um, there's a closet over there which we're just putting random stuff in right now. Um, this is another closet that has like bathroom stuff in it because our bathrooms are really small and they don't have enough storage. Um, but that's the hallway we just came down. If you come down the hallway and go left, you have the next, that's the fan. You have the next bathroom. Um, this is still completely like unfinished. There's nothing in here right now because like I said, I hung two signs. That's literally the most I've done um, because we've only been here a couple months and I literally am never home. So, hello. Um, okay, and then this is the master bedroom. So this is our bedroom. Again, I know it looks like a prison cell because there's nothing hanging on the walls. The lighting in here is also atrocious, but that's okay. Um, so we just bought this bed. We had a different bed, um, but we wanted a new bed that was a little bit lower, a little bit newer. So the bed itself is not new, but the frame is new. So we bought the frame, this dresser, and that dresser all together. Um, our master bathroom is back here. Shower with the tub, sink. The trash can is currently on top of the toilet because the dog gets in the trash. Um, dog bed, some nightstands. Over there is the master closet. And then this is the last bedroom. Prepare yourself because this is bad. This is literally <laughs> so bad. This is literally where everything has gotten thrown that I don't have space for right now. So that's embarrassing. So this is where you guys came in. This is the front door. So if you go straight in through the front door, you have the living room. This is probably my favorite room of the house. Um, couch, table. This is our TV stand with the TV. Um, dog kennel and then this is the back door that leads to the backyard <laughs> look at him <laughs> he kills me um love these windows there's so much natural light that can come in through these windows um and then we also have this huge fireplace 
um, but the TV did not fit up there. So we just have pictures sitting up there right now. My plan is to kind of make that look a little bit better. Um, and then I just have our clock hanging back here. Originally, these pictures hung around the clock, but I haven't hung them up and this looks super weird if there's nothing up there. So I just kind of left them. Um, and then we have the dining room, which also has three bay windows as well. Um, both of those signs are from Hobby Lobby. The hutch I bought off, of, the hutch and the table actually came together and I bought them off of Facebook Marketplace for like 200 bucks. Um, love those together. We made the hutch into kind of like a coffee area. So we don't even use this Keurig anymore, but we've got all our pods, all our mugs are in there. We just have random stuff in the storage at the bottom. And then this table seats four, but it also has a leaf so I can make it bigger if we have company or something like that. So that's super nice. I love these two together. Um, and then we also have our kitchen. So when we moved in, it came with all the appliances except the washer and the dryer, which are through that door into the garage. That is a two car garage in there. But um, right now there's only room for one of us because we have stuff in there. So I've been parking in the garage, but we've got all these cabinets and then all of those cabinets as well. Um, like I said, it came with all the appliances, so we didn't have to buy anything for the kitchen, which was super nice. Um, the gray looks pretty nice as well. This house is pretty old. Well, okay, so the house isn't old, but it's older, so it's kind of settled a little bit. So the floors are really uneven. The cabinets don't all close all the way because the house is settling. Um, it's also very, very humid in Texas and humid weather makes things expand. So doors get stuck really easily. Cabinets won't close all the way. Um, and surfaces can become uneven due to the humidity in the air. So love that. But, um, in our bedroom, the dressers actually sit at an angle. So we had to put like cardboard underneath some of the legs to keep them from, um, like being uneven and like literally tilting. Um, and then in the kitchen, all of the um, cabinets don't close all the way. So like this cabinet, like literally like doesn't close all the way. Sometimes this one won't close all the way. Um, these literally like you have to force them shut. They just kind of pop open. Um, that just kind of comes with the house and we can't do anything about it. Um, this right here is our pantry right now, which is literally the randomest shit in the entire world. We have literally no food as you guys saw my fridge this morning i'm literally getting ready to go to the grocery store um and then this pantry over here is all our supplements all our hydro drugs water bottles all our supplements and then extra water bottles and stuff are up there and then we also keep some of our supplements like i told you guys in this cabinet right here um and then i'm not even going to show you the garage because yeah it's a mess in there that is our house um, we love it here. Um, it's super quiet compared to where we were at. There's so much more room. Um, the animals love it because now there's plenty of space for them. They were in, when we were in the apartment, we only had the cats. When we moved into the house, we ended up getting Gunner, our dog, um, and the cats hated the 850 square feet. I can't even imagine having a dog in 850 square feet. Um, he's a pretty chill dog and he doesn't really have a whole lot of energy, but still I couldn't even imagine um, having to have a dog in an apartment. So, but that is all of the house. Um, I'll show you guys the backyard actually. It's actually really nice. We really like the backyard a lot. <gasps> Gunner! Are you going in? Okay. Um, this, oh, here he comes. Okay. This is the backyard. Um, we have a neighbor to this side, but we're on a corner a lot. So we have no neighbor over here. This is just the street. Um, it's a kind of a mess right now because we haven't had time to do any yard work. They did have a whole bunch of flowers and stuff planted in here, but a lot of them have died since the weather got really warm. Um, and I am not home enough to upkeep them, so they're there. The grass is also really long because we haven't cut the grass in a few weeks because we're never here. So, things are getting ready to change though, right, Bubba? Yeah. Okay, you guys, hey, what is up? All right, we are currently at the Aldi. We just pulled in. I'm going to get hella groceries because like I've told you guys, we are completely out of like everything. So we are gonna do that, get some groceries, go home. I'll do a grocery haul for you guys and go over everything that I bought. And then we're probably gonna eat some lunch, get ready for the gym and then go to the gym. So 
Let's get some groceries. We are all finished up at Aldi, so I spent I think like $110-ish, um, and my trunk is literally completely full. Um, I got a lot of stuff. I was going to buy a little bit more, but the expiration dates on some stuff, it would have expired before we ate it. So, but we are headed home, and then I am going to do a grocery haul for you guys. Okay, you guys, so there's a lot of stuff. So instead of sitting it all out on the counter and then going over it, I'm just gonna go bag by bag because it's gonna be the easiest and least time consuming, I think. Okay, so bag number one. We've got some eggs here. We've got a bag of salad, some Mexican cheese. Found these, they're just grilled chicken breast strips, which would be super easy in a rush or whenever we need lunch. We don't have anything meal prep, so I got those whipped cream, some turkey bacon, haven't had turkey bacon in literally probably a year, um, two things of 93.7 ground turkey, some Greek yogurts, and some butter, a gallon of whole milk, and a bag of potatoes. Um, I got a smaller bag this time because we've been like not going through them very fast, and then we got whole milk because we use whole milk whole milk to cook with and then Tristan uses it in his protein shakes. Bag number two, I bought some mini pretzels because I've been craving pretzels and they're just a good snack with like peanut butter or something like that. Um, some bread, two things of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a thing of orange juice because Tristan likes to drink orange juice. I'm not really a fan. Um, and then two things of chicken tenderloin. Bag number three, we have some chocolate granola bars, some fiber bars, some pop tarts, more granola bars. These are the soft fruit and grain ones. Saw this and thought Tristan would like it. It's raspberry lemonade. It's actually probably going to be pretty good. We love to flavor our water because drinking a gallon of just regular water gets really boring. We have two boxes of penne pasta. Um, I keep this in a special little, I put it in here. And we're completely out. All we have is elbow noodles. So, got to fill that up. And then also got some more spaghetti because we were out. Okay, next bag, some peanut butter because it's for the dog. That's his treat normally is peanut butter. And then two things of Alfredo, two things of regular sauce, and then some disinfectant wipes because we were also out. This is the last bag. This is all our like produce and some random stuff. So, um, corn tortillas along with flour tortillas and then big um, burrito tortillas here. Got these muffins because they're really good to take for like a snack or when like I'm really hungry but like I'm on the go. I don't have anything else. Um, they're also just a really good like dessert like treat especially if I'm like behind on macros. They're like a good snack that like I can have. Um, okay so the rest of this is so we got some bananas. I got Okay, so I got an avocado. I don't even like avocado, but I wanna try eating it on toast because I've heard that it's really good for you. And I'm gonna try to eat it and make it taste good. Yeah. Then I got some Roma tomatoes, some small gold baby potatoes, a thing of cookie mix because we like cookies up in here. Spinach, a bag of shredded lettuce, some peppers, and some strawberries along with some blackberries. So that is everything. Um, like I said, I spent about $110. If I would have went literally anywhere else, it would have been probably 200 plus. That is why I love Aldi because you can literally get all your groceries for a super cheap price. No, they're not gonna be name brand, but they are fire, okay? What are you doing? <laughs> you guys, it is 
currently 12.07 and I am not very hungry right now, but I have to eat something because my breakfast was not big at all. So I'm probably going to whip up some turkey and rice here really quick, eat that and then probably get ready to go to the gym, get the gym over with and then that's really all that I have planned for the rest of the day. And, but yeah, so let's make some turkey and rice and probably watch some YouTube and yeah, hang out. vlogging very much. I've not posted on YouTube in like five years. Um, and I just, yeah, I've been present on my Instagram. If you guys follow my Instagram, I've been, uh, posting on there, but not really anything life related, mostly just lifting stuff. So I haven't made a YouTube video since like November of last year, I think. Um, and a lot of that has to just do with my schedule and I've been super busy with work. My schedule's all over the place. Um, and I just, this has been the last thing on my mind. Um, really work has been honestly terrible. Um, as you guys have heard in my past vlogs, especially in my very first vlog that I ever made where it was the Q and A. Some of you guys asked what I did for work and how working in EMS was. And I had told you guys in that video that I wanted to be getting out of EMS and that I was wanting to find something different, but I just hadn't found anything yet. And I have currently worked in EMS for three ish years and, um, it has been the best but worst experience of my entire life. Um, I've made so many friends. I've learned so much. I love my job. I love what I do, who I work for, the people that I work with, the environment. I love all of that, um, but I don't love the way that the job makes me feel, which is tired all the time, depressed, moody, grumpy, um, extremely fatigued and it just is putting a toll on my body and it has been really hard on me. So with that being said, I had been looking for something else after we moved to Texas. I looked for a really long time. I could not find anything that was going to pay me the same amount of money and was something that I liked or found at least somewhat interesting that wasn't sitting at a desk all the time. And I hated that. And then a couple of months ago, I started working part-time for a coffee shop that is run out of my gym. And then he offered me a full-time position to be the manager of the coffee shop. So I took that job and I will be starting there full-time next week. So I have two shifts left on the ambulance and then I will be completely done with EMS. Um, I'm really excited. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep my license or let it expire. So we will see what happens with that. Um, but right now I don't have any intentions of renewing my license because it's not something that I want to do anymore. And I know that if I keep my license um, up to date, it is something that I will go back to and I need to just remind myself how much I don't want that and how bad it makes me feel. So big changes are coming, but I am so, 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 so excited about it. The next update being that um, we moved into a house. Um, as you guys know, if you have watched my prior videos on here, we used to live in a one bed, one bath apartment really close to our gym. And our lease was up in March of this year. So we had to find somewhere else to go or decide to stay where we were, but we hated it. And so we started looking for buy, to buy a house and that was terrible. And we tried like four or five times, got involved with the house, all of them fell through for whatever reason. There was a million different reasons. Um, every house felt like a different reason and nothing worked out, but that was for a reason. 
So we didn't end up buying a house. So we decided we were going to try and find one to rent. And that is where we are currently. We moved in here at the beginning of March. Um, so our lease will be until March of next year. So yeah, four bed, two bath. I showed you guys the tour earlier. Um, we love it. The cats love it. The dog loves it. So that's all good. We also got a dog. His name is Gunner. He is a one-year-old golden doodle. He is the sweetest dog in the entire world. And we are very happy that we got him. Um, so now we have two cats and a dog and it is constantly a party up in here, but wouldn't have it any other way. And the third one being that we are getting married in July. You guys know that I got engaged um, back in October of last year. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm pretty sure it was brought up on this here YouTube as well. Um, yeah, so we set our um, our wedding date for July and we are only doing a courthouse wedding, so nothing crazy. And then we are planning to throw a large party and invite all our friends and family to that instead of having like a wedding and inviting them to that and the reception. So July, my name is changing. It's gonna be freaking crazy. Hold on. Parched. so normally I just drink my greens with just plain water um, but I'm going to add in one of those little packets from earlier to see how it tastes with some of this raspberry lemonade the greens from them are flavored pink lemonade um, and I think they personally taste um, really good just with water um, but I'm gonna try just like a tiny little bit of that see what it tastes like with that in there added an ice cube in there to cool the water down because it's like lukewarm. Normally I drink these at night but I've been forgetting to drink them so I'm drinking them right now so I don't have the ability to forget for okay. Alright you guys, so I am, this is blowing, like, Jesus, I am heading to the gym right now, today is upper body day, so we are headed there, I have my banana, and I normally take pre-workout or drink some energy drink or something, but I had a cup of coffee this morning and then I'm still feeling pretty good, so I'm not going to take anything else, um, so yeah, I will see you guys at the gym. <laughs>
guys, what is up? I just finished my workout. I was in there for what felt like forever. <laughs> I was in there for almost two hours. Um, it was upper today and it killed me. My rear delts and lats are fucking trash right now. Um, I'm also starving. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make like a shake smoothie type thing. I'm also gonna try something new and we're gonna see how it goes um, with my hunger um and getting in some calories into my smoothie so we're gonna see we're gonna see how this goes but i'll see you guys at home you guys <laughs> why do these things happen to me bro why i went to take this out of the thing and the thing came off the thing like i literally why it literally Hi, baby girl. What you doing? What you doing? Are you sleeping? <laughs> Are you sleeping? Can you say hi to the vlog? Say hi. Hi. We are just now eating dinner. It's literally almost nine o'clock. It is nine fifteen. It is nine. Nine fifteen, my guys. So this is a late one, but. I have eight ounces of potatoes, five ounces of chicken with Chick-fil-A sauce. This has butter and sour cream on it. Drinking some water. He's eating the exact same thing I am, but drinking a fide. And we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to sleep because we both have to be up early tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will... Like, subscribe and comment because we're poor. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs>